with John Elbridge, and we are talking about authority in prayer from his book, Moving Mountains, Praying with Passion, Confidence, and Authority. So John, how do we pray with authority? Okay, I love partnering with Crossroads in this because you guys get authority and you understand the victory of Christ. Okay, so Christ was crucified, but he was also raised from the dead. Most folks forget that he was also ascended. At the end of Matthew, in, in chapter 28, he says, all authority now in heaven and on earth has been given to me. So Jesus Christ is now the name above all other names. All right, he has authority over all things in the spiritual realm and all things here on the earth. All right, now we get to operate in that authority. As Ephesians 2, 6 says, we have been raised with Christ and seated with him at the right hand of the Father. Now, most Christians, they approach prayer as, well, God, I hope you'll do something, please, mm -hmm. you know, please do something. And he's saying, no, no, no. One day you are going to reign with Christ in heaven. That is our future. We are in training for reigning. So he is, he is giving us his authority and we're beginning to work it out here in this world. You are learning to be a son or a daughter of God, to use the authority of Christ in your prayers. So it's not just begging God to do something. It is walking in the authority of Jesus. That's why we pray in Jesus' name. And I was going to say that when I was reading in your book, it's like we close off, amen, or in Jesus' name. Do you sometimes maybe just put that as a tack on at the end of a prayer? But, you know, I pray these things in the name of Jesus and that authority. So here's what I'll do to get my head back in it is I'll say, I pray in the authority of Jesus Christ. And I'll just, instead of in Jesus' name, I'll say in the authority of Jesus, because that's why we use his name. We are invoking his authority. It's the name above all names. And we want to get this great book into your hands. As John's mentioned, we're uh, partnering together, uh, moving mountains. And with your best ministry gift to Crossroads, we'll get this book into your hands. Very practical, great stories. It's a great read, 1-800-265-3100. You can call or go online to crossroads.ca slash donate. Sometimes prayers are answered and sometimes they're not. When they aren't, we often lose heart. New York Times best-selling author John Eldridge tackles one of the most familiar aspects of daily life for Christians, prayer. Well, thank you, John, for making your book, Moving Mountains, Praying with Passion, Confidence, and Authority. Uh, to our partners, this is a must-read, in my opinion. Thanks, Greg. It's my pleasure to partner with Crossroads and Huntley Street because too many good people have given up on prayer. I think the reason is this. We've looked at prayer like this. God is powerful. I asked, and he didn't do anything. But to be honest, that's a very naive view of prayer. In Moving Mountains, I want to teach you a more mature and confident and hopeful view of prayer. I talk about prayers of consecration, how to learn listening prayer, how healing prayer works, how spiritual warfare prayer works. Really, this book will change your life. I hope you'll get a copy. If your prayers don't seem to be working, it might be time for a tune-up. Call now with your best ministry gift and we'll give you a copy of this book as our thank you. Call 1-800-265-3100 or make your donation at crossroads.ca.